Welcome everybody to more Skyrim Remastered here on AP Games, continuing our brand new Nord Berserker Let's Play Einar and Eric. Einar the nice guy barbarian, and Eric the wannabe pirate. I gave I accidentally gave him the earrings, but you know what? I think you look better with the earrings than I do. They look very good with you and your your little uh weird hat. Yeah. Anyways, uh so if it's your first time here on the channel, so glad to have you. Thank you so much for joining us. You are most welcome here on the channel. And we hope you enjoy your stay. For those of you that keep coming back time and time again, you guys rock. You're amazing. And I can't do it without your support. So, let's continue onwards. We are going onwards to Morthal. And uh, one thing that maybe I forgot to mention in the last episode is why I, why Einar is a nice guy barbarian. So, I'm kind of doing this. The the thought is that he's kind of a, uh, a Jekyll and the Hyde kind of character, right? So, out of battle, he's just going to be the nicest guy in the world. So, what does that mean? That means that we're going to give everybody the benefit of the doubt when it comes to just, uh, just like, conversation, right? We're always going to pick, like, you know, truth and justice and, and, like, just being a good dude kind of thing. It also means that every time we see a beggar, we're going to give him money. We're going to give alms, alms to the poor. Always do our duty to uh, make sure that they are well-fed and well-taken care of. Um, and, and other noble acts of that kind. Um, Look, one of the ancient Nord ruins. Who knows what's down there? Probably dead Nords. Um, all right, I just wanted to kind of get that place marked off my map. I like doing that. Let's give it a quick save, even though we haven't done that much. Because I'm paranoid. So, Einar is basically just going to be like, he's just going to be really nice. But when it comes to battle, he's just going to kind of hulk out a little bit, right? Little, uh, you know, like Hulk and Bruce Banner or... You know, Jekyll and Hyde kind of thing. Just these... <gasps> no. No, guys. It is. Maik wishes you well. Oh, Maik. You are always my favorite. Always. Okay, guys. No, no. Hold Hold. No, Maik. Maik, hold on. Hold on. Much snow in Skyrim. Enough snow. Maik does not want any more. <gasps> That's a screenshot right there. Skyrim was once the land of many butterflies. Now, not so much. Many butterflies? Snow falls. Why worry where it goes? Maik thinks the snowflakes are pretty. You just said that there was too much snow. Maik is tired now. Go bother somebody else. Maik is done talking. Maik is done talking. You want to talk to him? It just feels right somehow. I need you to do, do you something. Need? What do you need? Attack Mike the liar. Mike no, not gonna happen. Alright, Mike has done nothing wrong. He's a nice kitty. Alright. Onwards we go. Mike, always good to see you. Oh jeez. I did not see that. Oh boy. Oh boy. Whew! That level up coming right at the correct time. Okay, we're definitely gonna go for health. We need a little health. All right, so we've got the Ordinator perk mod on here, and I'm thinking that we're gonna we gotta start off with just some good old two-handed mastery. Ah! Uh, yeah, Eric, some good smack talk while I'm delivering the the death blow right there. Eric, our first our first major kill. Wow. Uh, can you, can you get in a place where, like, maybe we can, like, take a good photo or something like that? No, you just want to stand, you want to stand backwards? Okay. That sounds good, too. All right. Always time for a screenshot. Selfie! All right. We'll take the mammoth snout, because clearly there's nothing else on this mammoth that could possibly be worth more than just the snout. Um... I think I'm a little... Oh, no. Oh, yeah. We're going the right way. We need to go down. Down here. Over the bridge. And then we're in Morthal. So, yes. So, uh, also, if you're wondering what mods I'm using, there is going to be a link in the description to my mod list. Uh, there's a link in the description for all of my different characters for the mod list that I use for them. So, you can uh, download those. Important to note that they are organized by alphabetical order. Not by the order that you should be implementing them 
if you download the mods. If you want to do that, there's like a... Oh, Eric, I did not realize that we were being attacked by the mighty mud crab once again. Ooh, five mud crab chitin. Wow, he's a big boy. All right, let's give that a quick save. Killing a bear definitely deserves a quick save. So, if you can think of any other ways that Einar could really show himself to be such a super nice guy, maybe he talks to every stranger that he meets. Uh, that would be get really old when it comes to uh, gameplay, though. Important deliveries to make. No time for chatting. Dude, you're fit. You, like, have you slept in like? Important deliveries to make. No time for chatting. Are you a vampire? Like your eyes are really red. So either you've been either you've been on the drugs or you're a vampire. It's one or the other. Nice job, Eric. Thanks for covering my six. Oh yeah. Little razzle, little dazzle. Nice job, Eric. Cleansing the world of frostbite spiders. Take their venom. Hmm. Oh no. I'm, I'm, but yeah, if you guys think of any other ways that Einar and Eric could show themselves to be really, really super nice guys, you let me know. Let me know in the, down in the comments. And I, I did this last time, but I'm going to do it for a couple, couple episodes here into the series. How did you find my channel? Leave that in the comments as well. What series would, did you find it? Was it like yesterday that you found my channel? Or like two years ago? It better not be two years ago because frankly my channel basically didn't exist two years ago. Um, so if you say that, I know you'll, you're lying. All right, well, we got plenty of uh, death bells and other things to do uh, alchemizing on. But we need to find some, find the locals and help them resolve their problems. To do about it. How are we supposed to feel safe in our own homes? Our own homes. Please, enough already. I have told Igrid of your concerns. She'll look after you all. Please, go about your business. We have no need for wizards in our midst. Morthal has enough problems as it is. Ah, it's no use. Let's get back to it then. I mostly deal with petty thievery and drunken brawls. Been too long since we've had a good banditry. Good banditry. Ah. Ah, yeah, that's a that's a good Nord right there. Wanting a banditry. Alright. Just collecting a couple alchemy ingredients here and there. Before we go in and step inside and see what we can do to help the locals. If you've I do what I can to see that Idgrud's time isn't wasted. The Jarl has put out a bounty on some bandits. Here, take a look at this decree for details. What was the argument outside the hall? Ah, life in Morthal has been troubled lately. The people are uncertain, restless, and nearly look to the Jarl for leadership. Fair enough. What's going wrong? There's news of rebellion against the Empire. Strange noises have been heard in the marshes at night. Fair enough. And then, the tragedy... The men simply seek wisdom. Everything will be fine. Okay. I'll take my leave then. Into High Moon Hall. Let's see. Let's talk to the Jarl and uh, see what's going to take for us to become Thane. Too many bother my wife with their petty problems and then don't even understand the advice. So, life has brought you to Morthal and to me. What purpose this serves, we will no doubt see. Welcome. That was a nice little rhyme there, Dr. Seuss. That which is unknown can create unease, even fear. It is to be expected. Some fear our new resident wizard. As they grow to know him, they will accept him. Eh, we'll see about that. Time will prove me right. Okay. What happened to the burned down house? Hogarth's house? He lost his wife and daughter in the blaze. My people believe it to be cursed now. Who am I to gainsay them? Was her Krogar, Krogar blames his wife for That's a good spilling Nordic their name. food in the fire. Many folk think he set the fire himself. Lust Why would he can do make that? A man do the unthinkable. The ashes were still warm when he pledged himself to Alva. 
Why haven't you arrested him? and gossip? No. But you, a stranger, might find the truth for us. Fair enough. Sift through the ashes that others are too fearful to touch. See what they tell you. Okie dokie. Should you prove him guilty or innocent, I will reward you. Ooh. Where do you stand on the war? I stand where I have always stood, here in Morthal. Fair enough. Now is not the time to fight amongst ourselves. I fear dark days approach, and all of Skyrim's strength will be needed. Hmm. Okay. Krogar's fate is in your hands. Krogar. Good business with the. All right, so let's. Uh, I think. I do what I can to see that Idgrud's time isn't really, wasted, dude. And that she only has to deal with important matters. Okay. Good stuff. All right. Let's uh, collect a couple of these and let's take a look at here. Laid to rest. Miscellaneous. Kill the bandit leader located at Orothime. Where's Orothime? Oh, it's down here. Hey, cool. Uh, all right. And then investigating the house. I've done that up. I've done that a couple times. It's uh, I don't know. I don't think we're quite ready to deal with that quest just yet. So let's let's go kill some bandits, huh? Eric, right? You hate bandits. Let's go to the crab shanty. I probably should have sold stuff. Ah, it'll be fine. It'll be fine. Alright. Here at the crab shanty. And we need to go... Probably around... Yeah, we need to go this way. It's pretty dark, actually. Why are we not getting over that ledge, huh? Alright, Eric. Our first night raid. Need to get a pickaxe soon. Got a nice little mod right there that makes all the uh, ore veins glow a little bit more. Because I'm lazy and I don't want to work hard to recognize where an ore vein may or may not be. It's really just super convenient. Oh, man. Look at that moonrise. Lovely. Lovely indeed. Alright, let's give it a quick save. Uh. One hit wonder, Mr. Wolfie. Yes, the scourge of mud crabs. Eric the Slayer and Einar the Nice Guy Barbarian. Flowers, Orothime discovered. Wow. This seems, uh, lovely. Eric? Eric, where are you? Oh, no. Did we lose Eric? Alright, let's, let's give it a, a wait. There he is. Just taking a bath. Alright. Now it's not bath time, Eric. It's battle time. Then it's bath time. Alright. Another quick save. Sparks on. Let's do this. Our first real bandit raid, Eric. Exciting. Exhilarating. Full of mushrooms. Some lavender at the front. Shrooms. Oh, I love me some shrooms. Huh? Come, bandits. It's time for your doom. <laughs> oh, dang. <laughs> I, uh... I guess I wasn't exaggerating. Get him, Eric. I'll get the mushrooms. You get the bandit. Take all that. Big swing and a miss there on my part. All 
All right, you tank him. I'm gonna get rid of the ads. There it is. Bandit Chief, a steel bandit axe. Or, bandit axe. Brigand plane harness, nice. And we'll take your bandana, we'll take that. And I'll take the shrooms. All right, look at that, guys. That wasn't too hard. Collect all the shrooms. Gotta make sure to uh, loot this guy. Studded armor. Okay, not too bad. Wine. A satchel. Ooh, another lockpick. Very good. Very good right now. There it is. Alright. Stamina. A pickaxe! Yes! Perfect! Now we can start mining all the ore. Hold on. Alright. Let's make sure... Let's make sure I've looted everything in here before we move on. Take the bracers, take the elk pelt. I hate bandits and thieves. Men like these raid our town every year. Not anymore. Clearing out the bandits. Ooh, steel sword. Okay, we'll take that. Need all the all the moolah we can get here at the early part of the game. Empty. Mace etiquette. Sure. Okay. And all right. Seems good now. Oh, we almost missed some shrooms, guys. Come on. Oh, come on. You gotta be kidding. Gotta look for the one pixel. More shrooms. Okay. Now we can head on out this way. Ah, the real loot. Hide boots. Okay, we'll open up the secret passage. The chest! Steel great sword. Alright, staff of courage. Take some apples. Fly mantia. Uh sure. Yes. Excellent. Alcohol is always good. And some apples to go with the alcohol. A couple more uh, mushrooms and bada bing bada boom, we're done. And we got just enough care weight to grab maybe something else. Yeah? Alright, there we go. We should be max on our care weight. Excellent. Excellent indeed. Eric, a successful raid. Well done, it's not even morning yet. Alright. Let's hop on back to Morthal. Let's go get our bounty. And uh, we'll have to... I'm thinking that we'll have to upgrade ourselves to that steel axe. Do a little extra damage. Huh? Let's do that right now, actually. So 23 damage. Opposed to 26. Yeah, let's do it. I'm, I'm willing to forego the whole, uh, you know, fatigue. Five, five damage of stamina. It's not that much, so I'm not too concerned about it. Ba -da -ba. All right, uh, in there. I'm going to wake you up at 4:30 in the morning. <laughs> and hey, if you business with the Jarl, Benny Lee is dead. You've done us a great service. Here's your reward: 100 gold. Nice. Until next time. Until next time. Uh, can I become Jarl? Is Hrogar innocent or not? I haven't found anything yet. Okay. Well, there we are. Nice. Okay. We need to find somewhere to sell some stuff. Selling stuff. And now it's raining. Lovely. All right. 
Let's give it a little weight. Please don't mind Yorick. He's not mad. I don't... I haven't Mother's Gift. Not quite. My brother is... sensitive. He has trouble focusing his attention got, on things. Got myself a raven-haired we beauty here. To the Temple of in Abba, Abba. Room, just so the healers could make sure he was in good health. They say he's fine. Are you heading to Whiterun? Could you take this letter to the priestess? Danica Pure? Spring? Sure. It's a note about Yorick's health. Okay. I'd be glad to help. Thank you. And, uh, I'll be sure to deliver the return letter and, you know. You're different, aren't you? Not like anyone else. Not in Morthal or Skyrim. I get lost sometimes. I'm not sure where I go, but I'm not, I'm not here. Okay. So there goes the kid from, like, Stranger Things or something. Um. <laughs> seen a bunch of stuff. Thaumaturgist's hut. All right, let's see if we can't sell off some stuff oh, here. Do come in. I hope I have what you need. If you need any alchemy supplies, I'll do my best. Ah, so you're an alchemist then. Yeah. What can I sell you? Food? Great. I'm selling you all my mud crab stuff. That should help a little bit. Let's get rid of poison. Poison. Poison is not something that we uh we as Einar believe in. We'll get rid of these fur plates as well. Not that it does that much for us, but potions. You got any, uh... We'll take some minor healing. Could come in handy. And... I'm sure, we'll do one plentiful healing as well. Alright. All right, then. Why were you, like, she was, like, staring at me with her mouth wide open. <laughs> weird. Some weird folk here in Morthal. Alright, uh, I'm thinking that we might have to do the quest, that quest, in order to try and become the Thane. So, let's go in here and let's pick up some work. Finally, someone comes in. Kick off your boots, stay a while. Let me know if there's anything I can help you with. I got nothing but time these days. Sounds good, my lady. I hear the lady. steward asked you to look into the fire. Heard any rumors? Travel to Helgen. Oh, okay. Uh, heard any rumors lately? Big talk of a little boy in Windhorn. Uh, more rumors? Shrine of, Shrine of Azura. People say there's someone in Riften, Riften that change can my face. change your face. Make you look completely different. Uh, what have you got Drink for sale? Drink for the thirsty, food for the hungry. That's it? Okay. Salt. You can sell me some salt. Okay. That, uh... Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. No. I, I get what you're doing there. You weren't really offering me food. You were offering me something else. Kind of awkward. I can't do that, my lady. Uh, I'm too noble and too much of a nice guy to look down your low-cut shirt. I respect your decision to, to wear it, but I hope you can respect my decision not to look. <laughs> um, okay. Well, we might have to do some investigative work then. I guess. We got... Investigate the burned house. Yeah, yeah. Okay, we're... Sorry, we're not doing that. Alright, we're investigating the burnt house. Alright, we're just gonna do it, guys. We're gonna do it. Who's there? Who are Help you? Me. My father says I'm not supposed to talk to strangers. Are you a stranger? Uh, no. I'm a friend. You know what happened. The smoke woke me up. I was hot and I was scared. So I hid. Oh, This is really sad, actually. Then it got cold and dark. I'm not scared anymore. Okay, that just got much more I'm sad. I'm lonely. Will you play with me? I would love to play with you, little girl. Okay, let's play hide and seek. You find me, and I'll tell you. Sounds good. We have to wait for nighttime. Oh, I forgot too, about that. You can't come out until then. What do you mean? I can't tell you. She might hear me. She's so close. If you can find me first, I can tell you. Okay. Find Helgi after dark. Well, looks like we got a little time then. We could either skip time, or we could see if we have any other... Do we have any quick... No, we really don't. We really don't. Well, looks like we're just going to wait here for, you know, a good ten hours. <laughs> I'm just going to stand here on the steps for ten hours with my thigh, my massive man thigh sticking out of my... Good lord almighty. 
I have not been I've not been skipping leg day, that's for sure. Alright, let's wait another hour. Is it still not dark? Apparently it's not dark. Alright, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna hop around. Looking for any useful alchemy ingredients. Yeah. Give it a minute here, guys, and we should be good on the old uh, after dark thing. <laughs> no. Okay. No. Alright, well. Okay. We have to. Okay, if I remember correctly. It's you. Never should have come here. What was that? I'm sorry. I didn't hear you. Vampire armor, vampire boots, vampire gauntlets. Child's you coffin. You found me. Layla was trying to find me too, but I'm glad you found me first. I didn't really find you first. Layla was told to burn mommy and me, but he didn't want to. He wanted to play with me forever and ever. He kissed me on the neck. And I got so Layla. cold that the fire didn't even She's hurt. Dead. These are your fears. Layla thought She's, she could take me and keep me, but she can't. I'm all burned up. I'm tired. I'm gonna sleep for hey, a while. Hey, hey, no, hold on, hold on. She's dead. Layalette is dead. Layalette. What can you tell me about your wife? I thought she left to join the storm cloaks. Oh, my poor Layalette. Did you notice anything strange? She also, where did she go to, to join the Stormcloaks? Because we need to do that. Yet just a week before, she despised her. In fact, the night she disappeared, she was supposed to meet Alva. Okay, you're waving that torch around. Alva told me later much. that she never showed up. I never got to tell her goodbye. I think they may have met Meeting after all. Alva? But that means... Ye gods, you think Alva is a vampire? Easy with that fire, dude. It's a possibility no, we can't ignore. You're wrong. You must be wrong. Leolet may have met her fate out in the marsh. I refuse to believe Alva had anything to do with this. There is no way you can prove it to the Jarl. Uh. I hope Alva is not what you think. I do too, but I already know the storyline. And the answer is, she is. So... Sorry. Sorry. And speaking of sorry, it seems that it is time for us to uh, end our session here in Skyrim for today. So, thank you so much for tuning in for Einar the Nice Guy Barbarian and our adventures to become the Thane of all the different holds in Whiterun. So, until next time, thank you so much for tuning in. Be sure to hit like and subscribe. Leave a comment down below. Tell me how you found my channel. I want to know, like, what series you found me on. What Was it this series? Was it this video? If it is, I'm so glad to have you here. If it was a different one, tell me, and I'd, I'd be really interested to f find out how you guys are finding my channel. So, until next time, I just want to say thanks again, and we'll see you again soon here on AP Games.